Naomi's going to keep an eye out for Jacob. I'm coming. Listen. I know what you think, right? But I'm coming. Please understand. I'm trying. Well, I should get changed. It doesn't really matter what you wear. We can't even go in the courtroom. Yeah, I still want to be smart. Don't put yourself through this for her. It's not just for Chrissy, it's for me. Like you said, I am the victim, and this this is how I change that. You know, I know it's not going to be easy, but I need to see him there, facing up to what he did. I do think it'll help me. OK. If you sure. Look, I'll run you over there. I can manage. You're a wreck. I'll be fine once I've seen him. All right, you can drive, and I won't worry about you. I'll just concentrate on visiting Arab. You know what he's like. He won't want visitors. Paddy's going, isn't he? If Paddy's different... Of course. But I'll ring you as soon as I've seen him. <laughs> Jazz! I've got a flat tire. You'll have to give us a lift. Do you want me in hospital at all? God. Heart's about to explode. Oh, it's in me. Did he have a bad night? Ah, oh, no, he slept like a baby. I couldn't close my eyes for worrying. He'll be all right, you know. Robert, as good as told me that they're back together. And I think it's all connected. Robert and the accident? No, the training. Running himself into the ground. I thought it was just stress, but it's way more than that. Way more how? Hurting himself so he can cope with it all. No one notices. We just think he's getting fit. Well, I've noticed, and I'm putting a stop to it. Come on. I've told Chas to give Aaron our love. We can't see him tonight, but hopefully we'll see him tomorrow. Dad's only just dropped him off. He what? Samson. Am I supposed to pick him up now or something? No. After kids' club. We can't fetch him in the... Oh, he's convinced you'll forget. Charity's visit. We're taking no because Kane's busy. I did tell you. Right. I'm sorry it's difficult for the both of you, but Noah's got to see his mother. Rachel's stopping over tonight, though. Well, she can stop at hers if she doesn't like it. Yeah, I, I won't tell her. Um, j just uh, don't mention it when you come back, right? I prefer to be up front. Yeah, but it'll mess with her head and make her upset, though. Oh, well, as it's just the one visit, perhaps I can say that we've taken them into the pictures. Thanks, Lise. I've laid your suit out for you. Lucky, this is important. Why? It's just defending me, is it? No, I, I want you to look respectable. It's too late for that. Please don't try my patience, not today, of all days. Is Dad coming? No, he, he can't come. How come? Work. You know what he's like. So what, is he going to ring me then? Yes, he said he would try if he <sighs> had the chance. So? How's everyone holding up? Hey. He's got the best lawyer money can buy, and he's got you. What else could he need? His dad. At least you're going to be there for him. Oh, no, don't say you can't come. A work thing's come up, and if I don't stay, your dad'll have to. Are you going to try and come later? I'll do my best. It's not something we should worry about, is it, this work thing? No, 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 no. don't worry about it. I'll, I'll take care of it. Doctor said that you are the luckiest fella he's seen in ages. Is it just me or is she proper milk in this hero thing? Although he reckons that you're probably suffering with exhaustion before you even fell. There's no point in training unless you're going to push yourself. A little bit of pain to help you get over the Robert situation. He told me that you're back on. What, he said that? I got it out of him. What have you done now? Nothing. I might have threatened to tell Chrissy. What, what, why would you do that? Because you scared the hell out of me. Right, phone him and, and, and just tell him that you didn't mean any of it. 
But maybe if she knows, all this will work itself out. But it needs to work itself out. You don't know anything about it. I know that you turn it on yourself when you get stressed. And I know that you are in a hospital bed because of him. He helped you find me. He's forcing you to keep it quiet. He's piling on the pressure. No, that's not how it is. Can you not see the effect he's having? Mum, that's not how it is. All right, yeah, maybe, maybe I did overdo the training. Yeah, all right, it was, it was helping me, but I made my own decisions. Robert didn't force me into anything. Yeah, you might see it that way. He was the one who kept me going. There. I could have just closed my eyes and given up. But I didn't. Because of him. He's never going to leave, Chrissy. I want to be more than just a bit on the side. Yeah. Yeah, I do, but... He's not offering any more, is he? So I'll just take whatever I can get. Potential clients will be coming through the office all day. We're going to be giving them a tour, ply them with samples, and, fingers crossed, they're going to spend a fortune with us. Well, we don't have to talk to them, do we? Oh, no, no, no talking to them. It's just going to be a normal shift for you guys. Um, Jay did tell you about me clipping off early this afternoon, didn't he? No. Got to mention that he double-booked himself solid with meetings in Leeds as well. Right, so that's helpful. Well, I have got plans. No problem. It's going to be a madhouse anyway. <laughs> Where you off? Oh, uh, we thought we might take note of the pictures. What about Samson? Oh, he's not bothered. Samson, really? Really? Right. <laughs> Onwards and upward. Oh, hi, Dad. Oh, you look great. And I feel like a million dollars. <laughs> Teresa helped. Who's Teresa? Uh, bait to make Georgia jealous. Priya's idea. Well, here I am, ready for action. Where do you want me? Well, why don't you come through to the office and I'll brief you on who we're expecting. <laughs> I have to say, I'm surprised Donnie didn't make it. Oh, he's hardly the reliable type. Lachlan thinks he's ashamed of him. Do you think he's right? How should I know? Well, you are. Ashamed. My son has lost his way and needs help. This has nothing to do with how I feel. Oh, that's the way you see it. Oh, perfect. Look who took the trouble to come. She better not be talking to Chrissy. Do you want me? Please don't let her say anything, buddy. You self-harming again? Not anymore. What happens when you find another way? I won't. Should have seen what you were doing. Yeah, well, I'm good at hiding it. But I swear to you, it's nothing to do with Robert. What is it, then? I wish you'd give me some credit. You could have died last night, and if it's not about Robert, then it's about something else, and I'm guessing it's something big. You can't tell my mum. Promise me. It's not Robert. It's Katie. Still nothing from Dad. He's not ashamed of you, you know. He's rooting for you the same as we all are. I should probably take this. And your hat. What if I can't come home? But we'll worry about that if it happens. I'm worried now. The court will decide what happens next. You'll take your punishment and face up to what you've done. Your mother and I will stand by you no matter what. I wouldn't be here if she'd stood by me. You've no one to blame but yourself. I was hoping that you'd be man enough to admit that by now. Since when have you been on her side? 
There's only one side. Yours. Lachlan White. Yes. Good luck. I love you. went to the farm because of me. She thought she was getting proof. What happened? <laughs> I just thought that... It, that if she told everyone, it'd have no more excuses, you know? It, it'd have to choose me. And that's why she died. No. She should never have been there, Paddy. She fell because of me. Is this why you're torturing yourself? I deserve it. Aaron, how... how you can't have known it wasn't safe. Yeah, but I could have said nothing, couldn't I? I could have just let, let him marry Chrissy and just not try to change things. And what happened at the farm? Did you talk? Uh, no, I'd... I never went. I bottled it. I stood her up and she... That's why I don't want my mum to tell Chris yet. I just want things to stay as they are. Hello? Yeah, uh... The signal was to cut out. Uh, no, you, you don't know me. I need a job doing. The kind you specialise in. I need to get rid of someone. Permanently. Works in the pub most nights. That's where she'll be. And it should look like an accident. Nothing suspicious. And I want it to be quick, painless. Good. Tonight then. Call me when it's done. Look at her. She's breathtaking. Oh, Dad, I am so happy for you. But I can't believe you kept it quiet. Well, she agreed to a date. But no need to alert the media as yet. All right. So, um, when is the date? Now. What, here? We spent most of the 80s smoozing clients over liquid lunches while I was building up the business. See? You're not going to woo her on the factory floor. That's why I've booked her favourite restaurant for after. Oh, OK. Good. So, I'm not quite the lost cause you thought I was, am I? How was Curtis? Like putty in my hands, he wants to talk numbers with you. That's my girl. <laughs> well, that sounds promising. Oh, it is. He was telling me that he's just added another wing to his house. What, Curtis Bates? Mansion more like. Oh. Is there a Mrs Bates? Why would you care? Well, I noticed he wasn't wearing a ring, but then I don't want to commit a faux pas when I suggest that he takes me out for lunch. <laughs> but what about the date? Well, that'll happen after I ask him out for lunch. Uh, wouldn't Dad mind, though? God knows. I'm doing him a favour. Really? <laughs> well, he's got me working the room. And you, I get to check out all the eligible bachelors, so everyone's a winner. Mm. So, this, um, Curtis, is he spoken for? 
I can't remember. Um, you know, I'll have a look on his file and I'll let you know. Thank you, darling. Oh, I just wish he'd talked to us before it got this extreme. Well, me too. <sighs> Who am I trying to kid? I need to talk to Robert. And Chrissy. Yeah, I reckon. Don't. Well, you said yourself, if it comes out, it gets sorted. Just don't. At least let Aaron recover for a bit before you set the wrong wife on him. And her dad's hardly the forgiving type, is he? Look what happened to Moira and everyone when he thought that Ross had robbed him. True. Aaron's fragile, isn't he? And he's struggling with the guilt as it is. So Robert gets off scot-free? Did you hear him? Flipping Robert's the only thing he's living for at the moment. He won't get any better until he's rid of him. I've been in enough bad relationships to know that. Yeah, and he'll see that for himself in time. Well, I'm sorry, Paddy. I'm not as patient as you. Well, think about it. Think about what Aaron wants. Straight told me I was asking for trouble. You know, I should have never encouraged him. Are you sure it's that bad? Well, he thinks he's on a promise and she thinks she's speed dating. You know, he's going to break him. Well, maybe she's looking for a Teresa of her own, you know, trying to make him jealous. Any news? On his second marriage, sorry. Oh, I thought as much. All right. What about this guy here with the beard? He's got a chain of farm shops and a hot tub sideline. I'll see what I can do. Great. Clearly, I was clutching at straws with the jealousy thing. <sighs> Dad's invisible, isn't he? You need to put him out of his misery. Right, OK. Well, let's keep them apart until the clients have gone. If she asks, they're all married. Don't let her have any wine and don't let her touch anyone. No, it's not what you think. He has to talk to the youth offending team before he leaves. But he can leave. He's got a referral order, and his name will be on the sex offenders register for a year. But no custody. <laughs> He's got to work with it. No, no, he can't have. I mean. They must have taken him away. Look at the faces. <sighs> Hiya. Um, I know you said not to let anyone in, but... Uh... You helped save my son's life. I've been desperate to thank you all day. How is he? Still very weak, but he'll make a full recovery. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Right, I'll... Uh... Thanks, Sammy. Pink pounds as strong as they say it is, then. You know, there's no one here if you're hoping for an audience. I don't mind waiting. I think I'm just going to sit back and let you talk to Chrissy. I think it'll be fun seeing you try and stop me. <laughs> I'll stop you. Ooh, fighting talk. You know, you're going to cause your son a lot of pain. He doesn't deserve what you're about to put him through. Me? You are the reason that he is self-harming again. That's why he collapsed. He was training to his limits. The pain helped him cope. Congratulations. It's only taken you the best part of a month to work that out. You knew. I've known for weeks. How could you not? Because you make him hide things. No, he hides things because he can't trust you. Don't twist his back on me. I'm not the closeted pretend boyfriend. No, you're the mother who didn't want him. No wonder he's got a taste for loving people he can't have. I hope your wife strings you up. Well, she's going to want Aaron's blood as well as mine. I know! Which is why I'm going to have to let you off the hook. I will keep your dirty little secret, even though it makes me sick to my stomach. But I'll do it for Aaron's sake. They heard the full story. Lachlan admitted everything. Then why the hell is he walking out of here? Look, the counselling will get him back on track. A referral order is a much better fit for him than custody. Yeah, we'll tell that to his next victim, eh? It was a fair hearing, and that should be the end of it. It is not the end for my wife. <sighs> you must be pleased. About getting a record. About being put in some pervs register. Look, Lachlan, um, 
It was really brave of you to plead guilty. And I, uh, I appreciate you telling the truth. You think I did this for you? No, but, um... No, I thought you were sorry. So... I'm not sorry. You slagged yourself around until I gave you what you wanted. And then you felt guilty about leading me on, so you lied. How can you still think that? Because it's the truth. You're the one they should be keeping tabs on, you disgusting bitch. <laughs> so you're just messing with me? Oh, no, I was serious. You've got Aaron to thank, and Paddy. You don't just make threats like that with people and then just back off like it's nothing. Well, you want me to follow it through? You know, I thought my marriage, my entire life was on the line. Well, and now you want me to feel sorry for you? Robert, if you want an easy life, try keeping it in your pants. You have no idea what could have happened. Then let that be a lesson. You treat him good from now on, and me and you won't have a problem. Dale's back in half an hour.